But once you start actually serving your clients instead of actually going for the money pinching, that's when you actually start to scale. That's right. Like, because people know that you actually care about them. You're, they're actually, you're actually here to help. Take yeah. care of them, serve them, yeah. make sure that they're getting what they want. Yeah. I, I had a fire, a social media advertising agency. I won't mention their names. Uh, but when I realized it's about him, 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 me, yeah. me, me, I do this, I do this. You know, who does advertising? Who did? Boom, boom, boom. And by the way, you sound like, bro, I told him, you sound like me when I was 28. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, I've been there. I, I, bro, I've been there. You better pump the brakes real quick. I'm, I'm, and by the way, the way you're talking to me as your customer. Yeah. Well, because, you know, I'm not the CEO of my company. I have another CEO. Yeah, but you still represent your company. Right. Yeah. You know, you're not at this point. You're not even the customer service rep. Exactly. It's hard to sell employees or, or, or people that want to work with you if you don't have a yeah. strong enough vision that you're actually going to serve people. Because it's like, yeah. what what, are we, what am I doing this for? It sounds like it's all for him. Yeah. You know. Correct. Yeah. I got this. Got the Lambo, blah, 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 but no fruits around you. To me, if you're really fruitful in what you do, right. people around you to follow your philosophy, they should be getting wealthier too. Yeah, hundred percent. Because yeah. I mean, or you're going to be at the top by yourself, and that's that's lonely. That's lonely. No one wants that. <laughs> Bro, we just came back from Bora Bora. We spent a week in Bora Bora. Uh, all last week. Amazing. There were 70 of us on that trip. <laughs> That's awesome. Friends, family, you know? Absolute feel we had, we had our alone time. My wife and I had our alone time, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? In the yeah. bungalows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, hey, man, and all the couples, they, they, the couples, they had their own bungalow time, too, as well. Yeah. But in the morning, hey, guys, let's get together for breakfast. We just had a blast. Yeah, I bet. You it know? sounds like a great time. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Hey, can I come? <laughs> <laughs> I want the next one. Please send it. Oh, man, that's crazy, though. What What would you say, if if you could go back and you know, tell your younger self just one, one like line of advice or two lines of advice, what would that be? So uh, it, with a single, ver the single version of me? Yeah, let's say single version. The single version of me? The, the younger single version would be, hmm. You know, I get, I get asked this a lot because I, I, even though I'm 50, I still remember when I was 16. I still remember when I was 17. It's so weird when you're 50 years old. It's not like those insecurities ever get removed from you. Right. Those airs of inadequacy ever get removed. You just know how to deal with it. Yeah, calluses. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. And and a lot of places I still feel indifferent. Some, a lot of places I still I don't like. I, I even though it may look like I've got confidence, but there's some places I still feel I lack confidence. And it comes from not having the the uh, support structure that I, I never knew I needed when right. I was younger. But uh, what I would say is it's kind of, it's got nothing to do with business. It's build that relationship with your father. Yeah.